late. Hello? Hey, you? Who the f is this guy? That's probably what you are wondering. I am so great. I am energizing the place in the morning and college at night. Hey, well, let's be honest here. Not really uh, working much nowadays, but hey. Nonetheless, who the f cares about me, right? Diablo 4, let's get into it! Uh, Diablo 4 is set to release this Friday, early access. Fuck that, I'm not gonna read. All right, okay. So this one's gonna be, it's gonna be improvisation because clearly I'm having trouble f***ing reading that because it's been four f***ing times I'm doing the whole, the, the same script, okay. Off the bat, all right. Okay, what's up? How's everyone doing? Diablo 4 is set to release this Friday, March 17 to 19 for early access. Those who pre-purchased the game, that means, have early access. Don't you worry, young Padawan. Have you not pre-purchased the game? You will, you can, right? You always have access to pre-purchase the game. By doing so, you will also have access to next week's Friday to Sunday, which is March 24 to 26. So you have better access this Friday for those who pre-purchased the game, like myself, from March 17th to 19th, and also if you decide to buy the game after that, you also have access for next week. If you already have purchased it, you'll have access for the two weeks, which is March 17th to 19th and March 24th to 26th. And also if you pre-purchase the game, that means you also have access to the full game of Diablo 4 at June 4th. Have you not, then you have access to the full game June 6th. If you don't decide to buy the game at all, good. We're tired of giving money to Blizzard. I'm tired, tired of time, transition. All right, the game is cross-platform, which means it allows players to connect globally through different platforms. Example, PS5, Xbox One, PC. They have also incorporated a battle pass system, which will feature cosmetic items, mounts, etc. Looking, um, that's the first time I see all this, because let's be honest, through Diablo 1, Diablo 2, Diablo 3, Mounts have, it's more of like a world, world world of Warcraft, but I see why they would take that type of approach since it is the same developer as well. We'll see how that goes, you know? But depends, the battle pass will have also three levels to it, which is like low, medium, and high. Basically, from my understanding, depends on how big and deep your pockets are. You can pretty much get what you want. That's right. Do you have the money to back it up? If you do so, you can get every single item if you want, so. Without further ado, let's move forward to more important things, okay? Go! At launch, there will feature five classes, which is a barbarian, druid, sorceress, rogue, necromancer. For those who pre-purchase the game, let me know what class you are going to pick and play. Also, I don't know if you have access to all the characters out there in early access coming this Friday. And also the max character level will be 25 as opposed to uh, 50 or 100 with the Paragon level. So 50 plus an extra 50, depending on how good you are and uh, all your items and all that plays into factor now. And also what's crazy is we get to actually customize our character. I don't know about you guys, but ever since Diablo 1, Diablo 2, Diablo 3, Diablo Immortal, you name it. Finally a Diablo where we can customize the way our character looks with no fancy gear distinguishing one from another. We are looking, like I said, at a cap level at 150 with Paragon levels with your items that will make you stronger to possibly 100. And now they have also mounts. So they incorporated this mount. So in a sense that you're able to travel outside the village freely. There's also like cosmetic items. I'm not too familiar what those are going to be. But you will have dungeons to clear. Which is kind of neat. But also those dungeons will never feature the same creatures. So every time you rerun the same dungeon. You'll have different mobs. Which is, which is exciting right? Uh, not only that. Uh, you have a skill tree to your dungeon. So you got like a dungeon skill tree. So once you... Uh, once you complete a dungeon, you get a skill tree, cooldown reduction, more DPS, fast gas rate, a little something to give you potentially a little stronger, right? So uh, there's also going to be random events. So I don't know, time, weather will definitely play a factor, rainy, snowy, 
uh, sunny nights, you name it, it's all going to play into a factor in Diablo 4. They also added a world tier system, which means as you challenge yourself to grow stronger, you will also challenge yourself to make the game harder. So you can increase the difficulty to potentially get more items, make you stronger, yada, yada, yada. And also they will feature the, you know, the good old for those late boomers, the softcore uh, character or the hardcore character, which means softcore, you get to die. You come back to life. That is no problem. In hardcore Diablo 4, you die. It is GG. Ciao. Bye. Rest in peace. You are never seeing your character again. You got me. Not even kidding. Okay. So uh, you let me know what you guys are going to play, who you guys are going to pick. Thanks. Till next time.